I'm going to pretend for a second that the shame doesn't exist. What's that like? What is it like? What is it like to exist in a world where I'm confident, comfortable with who I am, and able to express that without a fear of being disliked? You know what's crazy is how hard it is to do that, to imagine that. But if I really want that to be the case, then I got to start really living by that and feeling that. My entire body feels like tense and uncomfortable at the thought of the shame that I experience. And that creates a perpetual loop of anxiety and discontent and fear of rejection. I can't say that I will ever feel 100% relieved of the internalized shame that I have cultivated over the years. I desire for that to be the case, and I hope it's possible. But more than that, at this moment, what I really want is to be able to acknowledge why that shame is there and what I can do to work through it so that it doesn't hold me back. Because something that I've realized as I've been doing this podcast full time for almost a year is that I tied so much of my worth to the work that I did. And now that the work that I'm doing, while it's more fulfilling and I'm more passionate about it, doesn't generate the income that I was making before. So there's been this paradigm shift that like I worked my entire life to make this career, to hit these goals, to have this money and thinking all along, like I understand my worth. I feel like I know what I'm capable of. I'm meant for more. Well, now that I've extracted myself from a situation where I'm not making the money that validated that, all that shit, all that shame, all that discomfort, all that negative self-talk and those self-limiting beliefs, those are raising themselves up to the top again and saying, hey, we're still here. Just because you got what you wanted before doesn't mean that you've resolved that issue. I used my career as a mechanism to validate my worth because I felt like the more money that I made, the more I could experience life in a way that felt better to me. And in doing that now, I've created the perception that I am good enough within myself and theoretically to people around me. When in reality, the fear of losing my job, the fear of losing that income, the fear of being in a bad relationship were constantly stifling my ability to grow. So now that I'm on my own doing something that isn't for somebody else, not getting that consistent paycheck from somebody for doing work that I don't even enjoy, I'm being tasked with looking at myself and saying, well, what is it that makes you feel worthy? What is it that takes away the shame? How do you navigate life when the shame isn't there? And I don't know. I don't know how to navigate life without shame. That's sad and a little ridiculous, really, because it's something that I'm physically holding on to. Like I feel it in my body. There is a like resistance and a tension and a belief about myself that I am not good enough. But what is good enough? What did you decide? What, what does good enough mean to you? Because good enough to you probably doesn't mean the same thing that good enough means to me because my entire belief system is constructed around whether or not I'm good enough and what things represent that worth. And as I'm saying this, I'm realizing that like this is part of the problem. What we believe about ourselves, the story we tell ourselves about ourselves is unforgiving. So if you have a choice that you can believe the shitty things that you want to keep telling yourself because that's what you've always done, then you're going to keep telling yourself that. But if you make the choice to say, I believe I'm worthy enough, I know that I'm capable of more, I see how much potential I could realize if I just let go of this shame. And you take that decision and you decide, this is the future that I want for myself. You have completely flipped the paradigm that you have lived your entire life by. 
and opened up such an immense amount of possibility by just choosing differently 